Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in this video, I want to give you guys an update on what is exactly happening right now with Bitcoin and of course the entire cryptocurrency market. So please watch throughout this entire video because I feel like this video is going to be really important, right? So you guys can read by the title in this video. And I really want to talk about why I truly do believe that Bitcoin could actually potentially go back down to 16 thousand dollars now why do i say sixteen thousand dollars because you guys you know if you guys have in fact been watching my videos right then you guys will know i personally right this is just coming from me i personally believe bitcoin okay will in fact hit a bottom of potentially maybe twelve thousand dollars maybe even ten thousand dollars potentially right um i'm not saying that this is going to 100 percent happen it could you know happen right it could potentially happen here okay so why do i say you know bitcoin okay it will in fact reach you know um why do i think it will in fact reach back down to you know sixteen thousand dollars that's because guys okay you guys have to understand right and i'm pretty sure you guys do that before we had this pump right because we know bitcoin has obviously been pumping for the past few weeks now okay ever since um, the beginning of this year in 2023, Bitcoin has pretty much, you know, pumped over 40%, which is absolutely amazing. Okay. So I just want to go back real quick, real quick guys. Uh, so back in November, right, when Bitcoin, not even just Bitcoin, but other altcoins, the entire cryptocurrency market did in fact crash, right, right around here. Bitcoin was in fact at $21,000 and it crashed all the way down to just below $16,000, right? And after that, guys, right? You guys can clearly see Bitcoin was in fact not moving for a couple of months. It was literally stuck between $16,000 and $17,000. I really do believe, okay, Bitcoin could actually potentially go back down all the way down to $16,000 and then potentially, you know, go down even lower than that, right? Like I said many times, I think Bitcoin's going to drop back down to, you know, $12,000. I don't think we will see a massive crash just like that obviously it's gonna like maybe consolidate and go back down little pumps every now and then and eventually it'll just go back down right now how do i know guys why do i think personally right why do i think bitcoin could actually potentially go back down to sixteen thousand dollars well you guys have to understand okay the entire economy right now is just you know not looking too good okay it really isn't right and i really do believe a lot of stocks okay are in fact going to crash okay the stock market okay, it's going to crash hard, right? I don't think it's going to crash hard like where it did back in, you know, something like, for example, 2008, right? Who remembers when the stock market absolutely dumped back in 2008? I don't, I don't think that's going to happen this bad like then, but it could, right? But we will in fact see a massive crash in the stock market, right? So this is the S&P 500, and I really do believe the S&P 500 Okay, it's going to crash. So let me just show you guys something real quick. Okay, for the S and P five hundred, right? So you guys can clearly see that we had a high right here for the S and P five hundred, and this was um at the beginning um of two thousand and twenty-two, right? January. Okay, um, you guys can see that the S and P five hundred did in fact have a high. Okay, of four point seven thousand dollars, <throat> and obviously um it's having um you know. A downtrend right now okay it is in fact having a downtrend right now okay it's got rejected many times right so obviously you guys can clearly see we had a lower low and then a lower high lower low lower high right many times you guys can clearly see that right and we got rejected pretty much four times oh three times actually one here one here and one here and then most likely there's going to be a fourth one right we could actually potentially soon okay see um <clears throat> another rejection right for the s p 500 we could actually see the s p 500 um go back down right create pretty much another lower low okay so it got rejected pretty much three times so far three times okay um so we could potentially see another rejection right now okay because it is in fact having a pump okay so it could re get rejected the fourth time okay and what does this mean guys this means pretty much the s p 500 is going to, you know, dump, okay, it's going to crash back down, okay, it's going to have another, you know, lower low, and that means, guys, potentially, Bitcoin is obviously going to crash as well, okay, so I think, okay, I'm sticking with $16,000, right, 
for all the people out there that are in fact saying that this pump that Bitcoin had, okay, this is literally, you know, the beginning of the next, you know, bull market and whatnot. It's not, guys. Okay, I think personally this is um, a bull trap, okay, because a lot, a, lot, a lot of people are in fact saying right now that this is literally the beginning of the next, uh, you know, Bitcoin, you know, bull market or crypto bull market, right? That's what people are in fact saying okay which is crazy right we are still too early you know obviously the bitcoin um halving hasn't even happened yet right and i told you guys this many times once the halving does in fact happen for bitcoin obviously we're going to see bitcoin absolutely skyrocket and of course other altcoins right so that's just my thought right now okay and i think right the s p 500 is going to get rejected again okay and we're going to create another lower low and once that does in fact happen okay we're gonna see the s p 500 have a drop okay like what it's been doing okay um ever like every time it has a lower high it will just drop again okay so this could be a fourth rejection right here i think it is and once that does in fact happen yes we will in fact see bitcoin drop as well and i hope it does because i want to buy more bitcoin okay i've been buying bitcoin right you guys know i've been dollar cost averaging into bitcoin you know, every week or every two weeks, I will invest my money into Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? We can't forget about Ethereum, um, but I'd always, you know, try to move my money around into other altcoins as well. Altcoins that I believe long term, okay? The ones that I think um, will stay here for a really long time and the ones that will perform really well are down in the future, right? Long term, okay? I'm not here for short term. I'm here for long term, okay? So... <clears throat> Yeah, I think Bitcoin has the potential to crash back down to $16,000. Okay, I really do. And once it hits 16K, okay, once it goes back down to 16K, it could potentially go back down to 14K, 12K, and potentially even $10,000. Okay, it could. But anyways, guys, um, let me go ahead and show you guys what is exactly happening right now with um, Bitcoin because this is actually pretty interesting on what's actually happening right now with Bitcoin So I want to talk about it. So uh, Just last night. I was actually looking at the charts, right? I didn't film it or anything. I was actually so tired. But anyways um, I actually saw Bitcoin having this drop right around here. Okay. Oh, it was in fact dropping Okay, it did in fact form this red candle Okay, so event guys I woke up this morning and Bitcoin dropped down even further. Okay, right now it is in fact having a slight pump. Okay, but still, you guys can see that Bitcoin is just below $23,000 right now. Okay, Bitcoin is just under 23K. Okay, so Bitcoin did in fact have a drop. Okay, um, this is to be expected because it's been pumping, right? And this is not even a significant drop. This is just a little drop. You know what I mean? A little dip right now that's happening um, for Bitcoin, right? So, you guys can see Bitcoin uh, for the past 24 hours, it is in fact down over 1%, 1.6%. Okay, so it is in fact having a slight drop, nothing too crazy. Um, Ethereum's um, having a slight drop as well, still holding up pretty well. It's still at $1,600, above $1,600. So Ethereum is holding up really well, um, but it's down more than Bitcoin for the past 24 hours. It's down 2.1%, uh, all right, over 2%. Um, BNB is holding up really well. Nothing too crazy for BNB right now. Um, XRP having a slight drop over 3%. Cardano having a slight drop over 1%. Uh, Dogecoin having a slight drop as well, 3.8%. Polygon um, having a drop as well today, 3.9%, almost 4%. Uh, Solana having a drop as well, 3.4%. Same with Shiba Inu. Okay, we saw Shiba Inu absolutely popping for the past like two days. So it is in fact having a slight drop right now. You guys can see for the past week, seven days, it's been up over 18%, right? Crazy to see for Shiba Inu. Um, Polkadot um, having a drop as well, 3.2%. Litecoin having a drop as well, 2%. Avalanche having a drop as well, over 4%, 4.6%. Same with Uniswap, okay, dropping over 4%. <clears throat> uh, Chainlink dropping over 3.5%. A lot of altcoins are in fact dropping over 3% today, which is good, okay? Everything's still holding up pretty well, right? Um, Stellar XLM dropping um, 2%, and this is uh, altcoin, right? Everyone's talking about it. Not everyone, but a few people are in fact talking about this altcoin, Aptos, okay? I think that's how you, um, Aptos, that's how you pronounce it, I'm pretty sure. 
Um, anyways, um, this old coin is down today. Okay. Uh, over 6%, 6.8%, almost 7%. Um, it's been pumping though. You guys can see for the past month, it's pumped over 300%. That is absolutely crazy. You know what I mean? This old coin has a lot of hype right now. I don't know much about it. I really need to do my own research on it, but yeah, I will look into it. You know what I mean? See what it really does. See what this old coin does. See what it's, you know, technology does and whatnot. Um, but yeah, sounds interesting, right? Um, ApeCoin is down over 2% today. Filecoin over 3%. Algorand down over 3%. Yeah, a lot of altcoins are in fact down like 3% today. Um, VeChain down pretty much 3%. Quant down over 2%. Okay, Decentraland down over 5%. Aave down over 3%. Uh, Sandbox down over 5%. Theta Network 1%. Tezos not even moving but it's not down it's actually holding up pretty well um today but you guys see <clears throat> you know a lot of old coins are in fact having a slight drop nothing too crazy though today but we are in fact seeing some reds and um you know bitcoin and old coins are in fact having a slight drop today but nothing too crazy okay so obviously you guys can see majority of crypto coins today are in fact in the reds so it's obviously a red day today but that's fine right and Everything is, in fact, having a slight drop, right? You guys can see the global crypto market cap is, is still, you know, over 1 trillion, 1.7 uh, trillion right there, and it's down, um, you know, 1.5%. So nothing too crazy, You're having a slight drop today, um, but that's about it, right? And everything is, in fact, having a slight drop. So that means the index is, in fact, having a slight drop as well, right? But it's still holding up pretty well. You guys can see still um above 55 okay so every time this index right the fan greed index goes below 55 we'll go back to pretty much neutral um but we're still in greed mode okay so <coughs> everything's still looking pretty good right so right now we're in greed mode yesterday we weren't in, in fact in greed last week um we were in fact in greed as well and last month we were in fact in fear mode so it's great to see the fan greed index still in greed okay at 58 above 55 so that's great to see okay even though yeah everything's still sort of having a slight drop you guys can see bitcoin is pumping back up to 23k right now but um yeah that's about it everything's still looking pretty good for crypto um we are in fact seeing some slight drops though so that's fine this, this is completely normal okay but i will in fact keep you guys updated of course in the next few days on what's going to happen with bitcoin but i'm telling you this right now potentially in the next few months okay i'm talking maybe i don't know four to six months from now okay i personally think bitcoin we could potentially see bitcoin drop back down to sixteen thousand dollars okay and i want that to happen why because i want to buy more bitcoin at a cheaper price okay so you guys know i'm already dollar cost averaging into bitcoin right so every week i am in fact investing the same amount um into bitcoin every week right dollar cost averaging i told you guys this many times i feel like a lot of people that are in fact crypto investors that are in fact investing into this market should be at least dollar cost averaging right now because we are in fact in a accumulation stage right now okay so everyone should be buying okay but i am you know not you know when i'm dollar cost averaging guys i'm not investing too heavy right i'm not putting in too heavy because i know for a fact bitcoin could potentially drop back down further right sometime this year in 2023 bitcoin's gonna drop back down further right so i'm talking 16k 15k 14k 12k potentially even ten thousand dollars and once bitcoin reaches these low price targets i'm going all in i'm investing heavy okay i'm investing heavy right so that being said guys you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below do you guys think bitcoin could potentially go back down to sixteen thousand dollars sometime this year in 2023 or do you guys think you know that was in fact the bottom and you know bitcoin has in fact been pumping and that's it you know this is the beginning of the next crypto bull market let me know in the comments down below i'd love to know um and on that guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet already i really appreciate that and i catch you guys in my next video peace